it's February. And February is so special. We celebrate Valentine's Day and President's Day. And we also celebrate Groundhog's Day. Today we're gonna learn about these cute little critters that live under the ground. Yep. I say good morning to the day, good morning to my school, good morning to my friends, cause you're really, really cool. Good morning, Missy Andrea, and all my pals too. Good morning, good morning to you. Well, good morning, Gregory Groundhog. It's so nice to meet you. Are you going to tell us all about your life? Yes, I am. Here we go. Has anybody ever seen a groundhog before? They're these cute, furry rodents that have little houses under the ground and they're especially important in the month of February and I'll tell you why. In February, they come out of their little houses under the ground and they pop their head out from the hole and they see what the weather is like. Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy or is it windy? And if it's really, really sunny and so, so bright, they go right back down into their hole and they stay there for a little bit longer. But if it's cloudy and not too bright, they come out and play. A groundhog can tell us if we're gonna have more winter weather or more sun. All right, so we're gonna learn about that today. Did you know that groundhogs whistle and they squeak? Can you whistle like a groundhog? Can you squeak like a groundhog? Squeak, 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 squeak. Kind of like a mouse. Mm -hmm. If you were a groundhog, you would dig, dig, dig. And you would do all of that digging in the fall. If you were a groundhog, you would sleep, sleep, sleep and you would do all of that sleeping in the winter time when it's cold. Groundhogs hibernate just like bears. If you were a groundhog, you would play, play, play just like all of my pals. And if you were a groundhog, you would eat, eat, eat. Mm, they love to eat fruits and vegetables. You would have four sharp claws on your front paws. Let me show you what those would look like. And you'd have a flat head and you would also have a short little tail if you were a groundhog. So, like I said, in February, groundhogs pop out of their holes. Okay, and I've got this cute little guy right here. I have some fur on him just so you could see how furry he would be. And when they pop out of their holes in February, if they come out and they see their shadow, that means that we're gonna have six more weeks of winter weather. Oh, no more winter weather, Groundhog. But if they pop out of their hole and they don't see their shadow, that means all of the rough winter weather is done and spring weather is on its way. That's how groundhogs report the weather. Do you have a shadow like Gregory Groundhog? Have you ever seen your shadow when you go outside? The shadow is the, it's, 
the dark reflection of your body that's down on the sidewalk when the sun is shining. And you'll look down and you'll actually see a reflection of yourself down on the ground. And you're like, wait a minute. I'm not down on the ground, but my the shape of my body is down on the ground. That must be my shadow, right? You can go outside and see if you can find your shadow this week, but it does have to be sunny for you to see a shadow because it's the sun that helps make your shadow. So I'm gonna read you a story today called Gregory's Shadow. Okay, and you can see Gregory right here, and you can see his shadow right here. And Gregory is going to help the farmers find out if they're gonna have more cold winter weather or if it's going to get sunny. So sit back and enjoy the story, Gregory's Shadow for Groundhog's Day. Early one cold morning, Gregory Groundhog bundled up before going outside. He had spent the entire winter inside his cozy burrow home under the ground because he hibernated. Tomorrow was Groundhog Day. The farmers would want to know if Gregory and his shadow came out of their burrow together. If they did not, there would be six more weeks of winter. But if Gregory came out alone, spring would be coming very soon. So if they did come out together, there would be six more weeks of winter if he sees his shadow. Come shadow, Gregory said to his friend. I can't wait until tomorrow. I'm hungry. Let's go dig up something to eat. Well, Gregory was very shy. Having a friend like Shadow made him feel brave. They did everything together. All right, sure, Shadow. I'm right behind you. Let's go. And off they went for their adventure. Gregory opened the door. It was a windy day, but the sun was shining. The ground was covered with snow. When the two friends reached the edge of Farmer Ferguson's garden, Gregory saw another shadow coming toward him. It was waving its arms like this. What could it be? Do you see that shadow waving its arms? It's not Gregory's shadow. Gregory's shadow is right here. What do you think it is? Let's find out. Well, Gregory got frightened by this shadow, so he ran back home. Shadow said, wait for me. But it was too late. Gregory had closed the door. He was so scared, he forgot about his friend. He pulled the covers over his head and shut his eyes tight. And Shadow was left outside with this big thing waving its arm. Shadow was alone. He was shy too, and being with Gregory made him feel brave. He looked up from the shadow that was waving its arms, and actually, he saw the farmer's scarecrow. That's who the shadow belonged to. Whose shadow are you? asked the scarecrow. Oh, I belong to Gregory Groundhog, replied Shadow but he left me out here alone. What should I do? Oh, I would like to help you, but I really don't know how, said the scarecrow. I don't need a shadow. As you can see, I already have one. Oh, so the scarecrow couldn't help Shadow find Gregory, his friend. Shadow felt very sad. He leaned against a tree. Are you lost? said the tree. Shadow told her about Gregory. Oh, you poor dear. I would help you, but I don't know how, said the tree. I don't need a shadow. As you can see, I already have one. 
Well, I know where I belong, Shadow said. I belong with Gregory Groundhog. He walked slowly and sadly through the snow. Poor Shadow. He soon grew very tired. Just then he saw an old barn. Oh, that's a good place for me to rest, he said. I'll be able to think more clearly after I have a nap. So Shadow climbed into the dark, cozy hayloft in the barn and he fell asleep. Meanwhile, Gregory had realized that Shadow was missing and he was hunting for his friend. Oh no, maybe he's under the bed. No, all he saw was the straw mattress that he had put there last fall. Maybe he's lost, he said. Oh, he must be so scared. I will go and find him. He's gonna go find Shadow. Gregory spent all day searching through the snow. He didn't even think about how scared he was. He only thought about how he needed to find Shadow. When it began to snow harder, Gregory ran into this barn. He's going in the barn. Do you remember who's in the barn? But Gregory doesn't know that. It was very dark inside. Bang! The barn door blew shut behind him. Up in the hayloft, Shadow opened his eyes. He looked down and he saw his dear friend Gregory. Gregory looked up. He thought he saw something in the hayloft, but it looked like a blue ghost. Gregory was just about to dash out the barn door when he heard a voice say, It's me! I'm your lost shadow! I'm not a ghost! Oh, no, 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 you're, you're no, 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 not my shadow, Gregory said. You're a g -g 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 ghost! Then he ran outside. It had stopped snowing. Oh, but he didn't believe that that was his shadow. Shadow followed his friend into the bright moonlight. Gregory wouldn't, wouldn't leave him behind this time. When Gregory Groundhog turned around, he was very surprised. Why, you really are my shadow, he said. I found you at last. And I found you, said Shadow. Never was there a happier pair. They danced together far into the night. And then Gregory said, I almost forgot. Tomorrow is Groundhog Day. The farmer will be looking for me, right? Because he's going to report the weather. They made their way back home. If the farmer sees us together, he will be very, very sad. It will mean six more weeks of winter, Gregory told his friend. He didn't want the farmer to be sad, but he didn't want to be separated from his friend again. What should he do? Early that morning, farmers and their families waited to see the groundhog. They watched from a great distance. Here he comes now, said Farmer Ferguson. Gregory opened the door to his burrow. It was a gray, cloudy day. He sniffed the air. He saw the farmers. Then he had a very good idea. Hide behind me, Shadow. That way we can stay together. Shadow understood. Shadow snuggled up behind Gregory and as close as he could get, he held on very tight. He was so close, no one could see him, but 
they were still together. Hooray! The groundhog is staying outside without his shadow. The farmers cheered. Spring weather will be here soon. Our hard winter is over. Farmer Ferguson gave Gregory some delicious vegetables that he kept in his root cellar to thank him for the good news. And oh, what a feast Gregory had. Oh, he loves those carrots. Mm. Ever since then, Gregory Groundhog waits until the 2nd of February to open his door. He and Shadow stay close to each other all the time, and they are always very brave. The end. So when mommy and daddy watch the news, they might be able to tell you, is Gregory Groundhog seeing his shadow when he comes out of his hole in the ground? Or is he not seeing his shadow when he comes out of the hole in the ground? Okay. The farmers hope that he doesn't see his shadow if he doesn't see it, that means that we're going to have spring weather on its way. We'll find out. All right. So I want to do a really fun dance with you. It's called shadow dancing. And I'm going to be Miss Andrea. And I was wondering if you could be my shadow. Shadows do everything that we do, right? If you look down at your shadow on the ground and you raise your hand up like this, your shadow's hand is going to raise up. And if you look at your shadow on the ground and you turn around, your shadow is going to turn around. Your shadow copies everything that you do because it's a reflection of you and it's made by the sun. So if everybody can stand up for this song, you all you have to do is copy Miss Andrea. So you're going to pretend like you're my shadow. I'll be Gregory Groundhog and you can be shadow. Okay, so go ahead and stand up. Shadow dancing. Okay, get ready, everybody. We're going to play a game.
shadows, thank you for coming with me today. I feel brave when I have my shadows with me. Shadow dancing. You can play shadow dancing with your family if you'd like to. You can say, Mom, Dad, can you copy everything that I do? Can you be my shadow? It's fun. And you don't even need music. You can just copy each other or you can turn on music that you love. Maybe you like rock and roll. Whatever kind of music you like, you can turn that on and dance to it. All right. So let's see. I need to teach you your letter for Gregory Groundhog, don't I? It's the letter G, but it doesn't have a groundhog in it. It has a gorilla. And he's eating all of Miss Andrea's bananas. The letter G. What sound does the letter G make? Well, here, have this banana. Hold on to your banana. You're gonna peel it, just like you would peel a real banana. And you're gonna say the sound of the letter G. G, 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 Groundhog, G, G, Gorilla, G, 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 G. That's the sound of the letter G. G, Gregory, G, Groundhog. I know that he loves this letter so much. I know he loves it, and I think his shadow loves it too. All right, I'm gonna have you be little groundhogs and go peek outside of the weather, and then come back and tell me, what kind of day is it today? Come back and tell me. If you think that it's a sunny day and the groundhog will see his shadow, clap your hands. If you think that it's a cloudy day and the groundhog won't see his shadow, clap your hands. Okay, you decide by looking at the weather. You're my little weather reporters, just like Gregory Groundhog. All right, and we're gonna put number one on our calendar. It's the very first day of February. Come on over. And I'm gonna put this number one right on top of this little gray-gray groundhog, okay? Right here. And for my sweet little juniors, I'm gonna go ahead and get out number two. Okay, and I'll put it right here. Actually, the second is the real groundhog's day. So we can kind of put the groundhog right in between both of them because one and two are Groundhog's Day for pals, right? There we go. So you're gonna make a cute little groundhog puppet like the one that Miss Andrea showed you this morning when I started out. He might look like this, or he might look like this. We had two different kinds that we put in your bags. Oh, maybe they wanna be friends. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So you get to make your little groundhog puppet and you also get to make something to eat, okay? You have a little cup of chocolate pudding. You're gonna pretend like that is the dirt where the groundhog lives. And you have a little cookie that looks like a groundhog. So you're gonna put that, press that little cookie down in the dirt. And then you're gonna sprinkle some green sprinkles on top to make it look like the grass that's on top of the ground. And once you make your little groundhog in the dirt, you can have it for dessert. That rhymes, dirt dessert. You're having dirt dessert. Mm. And then what else? Oh, you have a little worksheet, a shadow worksheet that you get to do. See if you can match the shadows with their people or with their animals. Okay, have so much fun. Happy February. The next time we're together, we're going to start talking about Valentine's Day, which
which I love so much. All right, have a wonderful time, pals. See you soon. Pals, hooray! Bye, shadows.